don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But I hear wolves. And I heard tracking. They sound close. I'm Tyler Wood Bushcraft. And I'm Justin Van Frary with Waypoint Outdoor Adventure. And I'm Mark from Rolling Olmstead. And this is the seven day extreme winter challenge, Northern Wisconsin. This is what it looks like at around 6.30 this morning, so. Um, once the guys get up, we'll all get up and get stuff going. Alright, so yeah, you guys can see my breath, it is a little chilly now that I'm actually all out of my sleeping bag. Still have a few jackets on, because <laughs> it was a chilly night, but I stayed quite warm, and I am very pleased with the way the shelter turned out. So, time to get the old boots, get those on the feet, get all nice and warmed up. Get out there. I heard Justin with Waypoint Outdoor Adventure said he's going to get a fire going. So that's my cue to get out there and get my cup ready for some of that delicious Infusco coffee that he is. I am up and it's time to uh, bring you guys along with with me as we uh, head out. Oh, we need our gloves. The tripod is quite cold. So I need to crawl back, crawl back up in here. Oh, this is going to be a shaky morning. Still see the breath. Yeah, I woke up about every hour and stoked up the fire. Sounds like they had a, uh, a rough night. It sounds like my first uh, three nights out here. Let me uh, get my door up and going. Woo! Here we are. Man, Tyler just emerged. I emerged. I slept like a baby last night. I got up one time for nature and a second time to redo the fire. But other than that, wow. I got a probably good eight hours of sleep. So, we well, you know who's doing all the work today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel a million times better. I feel like a whole new person, rejuvenated, you know. I heard you guys talking about getting a fire going. So, I couldn't wait for some of that delicious and pisco coffee. So, Thank you, Justin, with uh, Waypoint Outdoor Adventures back there. That and uh, bigger than my camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I am. All right, day five. Day five fire is sponsored in part by Black and White Fire Starters. This is their medium ranger. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff to get a fire going, let me tell you. You just dump a little bit out right here, just like that. We hardly use any. That'll be enough to get our fire going. And uh, I should have brought my ferro rod out, but I didn't. But I have my uh, handy dandy emergency Bic lighter. I'm just gonna get that fire going just like that. Put some of these log. Oh, look at that. Log went right on that fire, didn't even put it out. Uh, Alright you guys, so we have... Uh, let me get a nice little, little promo picture there. Now it makes it thick. There we go. So now we got our... Both our snowshoes are finally done. I've been saying I've been wanting to do this since the day I got out here. And I finally got them done. Hopefully they're going to work. I definitely brushed it, but I think I think it all shall be good. But
know, we haven't really had that fun joking around. Yep. Yeah, it's right. just been crazy. Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to eat and may nourish our bodies. Thank you for keeping us safe throughout this whole seven day challenge. And thank you for the, the keeping us calm with each other and at peace and humble and kind. Bless those that are in need, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 It's really not a secret. That's what you add to it later on. Yeah. Oh, it's too bright. Oh, there you go. All right, day five is done and over with. Got a lot of stuff done today. Harvest some wood. Annihilator ear guns. Uh, good buddy Troy. Uh, definitely check his channel out. I will have the link in the description down below, and a link to all the other guys that are out here, like Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. Justin Van Ferrari with Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. It has been a blast. We've we've had a lot of talks, you know, off camera, uh, when it's not so busy. Uh, you don't see us really talk a whole lot throughout the days, uh, especially those first three, four days, because we were just constantly battling freezing cold temperatures and trying to get our shelters done, trying to get to the point where we can lay in them and be in them and be comfortable. Um, last few nights I have been very comfortable in my shelter. I've got a fire going inside this lifted suspended cabin. I mean this is a true super shelter. I've got mylar all over the top up here. I've got my main flashlight hanging above which doesn't really do much so I'm holding this little guy. Um, you know this is just this has been such an awesome learning experience you know learning and watching other YouTubers do their own thing out here. Uh, you know, seeing how everyone works, uh, how everyone uh, does their camera work. It's just been an awesome experience. I'm very honored, very blessed to be out here and be able to do this with all of them. So it's taking a toll on our body. Um, everything we do takes 10 times longer in a cold. And then you add filming on top of that. It's just absolutely crazy. There's only one thing that's missing, that's the family. You know, I miss my family tremendously. I can't wait to see my girls, can't wait to go hug her, and, you know, she... Missing family sucks. So. Alright, off to bed. Tomorrow's a big day. So, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Uh, it is day six. Um, last night slept pretty good and I didn't wake up at all throughout the whole entire night. I had a fire going when I went to bed. I woke up this morning, it was 6.30, so we got a fire going. Get nice and warmed up, read some of the Bible and wait for the other guys to get up, so. knife I'm actually making a, a spoon right here and uh, I just rip it away I don't know if you can get let me see if I can get that on focus there we go made some really nice feather feathers as if I'm doing like a feather stick and I'm just trying to carve it into shape I thought I'd share that I haven't been really recording me doing this project because it's pretty early in the morning I don't want to wake the guys up There you guys go. There's some uh, some more I've been working on. I'm trying to get this handle down. That first little batch right here. I don't know if you can see that. Just absolutely beautiful. 
Alright, to uh, make things, I'm going to try doing a uh, burn bowl into the spoon that I made. All I do is take a nice hot coal and give it, uh, just blow on a little bit so it'll start to heat up. First spot to, uh, you know, for our spoon to dip it. There you go, you can see it's starting to work. We got a nice little divot. I've been so focused on doing this project over here that I forgot all about coffee, so uh Let's get some coffee. And Fusco. Thanks for the sponsorship. Enjoying the mug, enjoying the coffee. We're on this project, a cold windy morning. I uh, just sit, just gonna take a quick break and have my morning Joe. That's good. That's the good stuff. Tyler, stop. So Tyler, you go first. And now it doesn't matter what you look like, it just matters where you hit.
Tyler, you get one more shot. Is that a good one? Why you go slow? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Tyler, you get one more shot. Was that a good one? I hope so. Well, I'm going to go slow motion. Here's Tyler. All right, so here's Tyler. Here's Tyler. Nice. All right, up next is Mark. Nice. All right, up next is Mark. I see some big fish jumping. Here's that beautiful hidden lake back here. The cedar swamp, guys. You guys won't believe how clear and beautiful this natural spring fed water is. It's actually a hot spring, I think is what Mark was saying. Mark at Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. But I mean, my goodness, guys. Uh, the scenery over here is just absolutely beautiful that it won't record with. Look at that. this works I got you tied off to some bank line I want you guys to go check how the fish are doing for me I think they're trout I'm gonna throw this thing and, and hope and pray that the, my knots don't come undone because this is this is some sketchy stuff let me tell you all right ready one two three I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together 
It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Still shovel, but tonight we're going to be having squirrel venison stew. So Justin had harvested up some uh, two black squirrels, and we got some stew with some venison I chopped up earlier, and uh, we got some homemade jerky still going on here. Got our roaring fire. It is day. It is night six. It is the night time of day six. And uh, we are having our last dinner around the campfire. We're gonna we're gonna eat, and then we're going to. Well, I'm gonna crawl in bed. Hopefully, sleep like a baby tonight. Wake up in the morning, and uh, end this challenge on day seven. This extreme cold winter seven day challenge in northwestern Wisconsin. It has been a roller coaster, let me tell you guys. Alright, you guys, I forgot my plate in my cabin, so instead of walking all the way over there, there was some uh, poplar, if that's how you guys say it here in northern Wisconsin. And uh, I went ahead and jimmy up a bushcraft plate because I think it looks a little bit more fitting. And it's uh, one last little project I can knock out real quick before our seven day challenge is over. We're going to be having some squirrel and venison soup. That sounds delicious. We got a nice roaring fire going. Chilling with Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. That's Justin Van Ferrari. And we have Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. And what are you doing, Mark? Making a spoon. Making a spoon. Why are you making a spoon? Because if you want to eat, you got to have a spoon, don't you? Well, that's the polite thing to do, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So there's our squirrel, black squirrel and venison stew that we got going on. I'm uh, I got the bushcraft plate right here, and I got my bushcraft spoon. And we're gonna go ahead and dig in and get ourselves a nice little dinner going. There we go. We got a little, looks like a little squirrel bone leg right here. Delicious. And some of, a little bit of everything mixed in there. Looks like I'm gonna have to take in multiple plates because I can't fit a whole lot without it getting all over the I place. Don't, I don't think you got a squirrel in there. Oh yeah. Piece of one? Right here. It actually kind of fell apart a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the squirrel that you provided along with the venison. Please keep us safe tonight as we wrap up our seven day extreme winter challenge. I want to thank Justin and Mark for allowing me to be part of this adventure. And uh, I wish them and all of our subscribers and family back home a very safe and blessed night. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that squirrel's fairly tender. Just a minute right now. Oh. Okay, Surprisingly let tender. Let me see your uh, coal steel there, Wells, Tyler. Getting hungry, guys. Can tell. Oh, I forgot to clean the poop sack out. <laughs> I was wondering what that little taste was. Alright, so here we go with the squirrel. Actually, the squirrel is falling off the bone. 
Not squirrel on a stick. Good night, Mark. Good night, Justin. Good night, Justin. All right, you guys, we are at the end of day six. Tomorrow's day seven. We are going to be packing up and heading out. Hopefully get a nice hot meal and uh, wrap it up. Make sure we got all of our footage right and then uh, saying our goodbyes. And heading back home to family. Family is the one thing I've been missing the most out here. It's the one thing that's been the hardest to uh, deal with is being gone from the family. So, um, my thoughts for the day, I just can't wait to see my baby girl. Can't wait to see my wife. Uh, this was an adventure. This was a challenge. Dealing with this cold weather, it's uh, it's been something. So, I, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you if you guys are just now watching. Definitely go back and check through all of the other six episodes, the other six days. Um, not just my channel. Check out Justin Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. Check out Mark with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. All the links in the description are going to be down below. And make sure that you are saying I'm watching every episode to be entered into the massive giveaway. So stay tuned after the series to see what the giveaway is. I know, I know something. Well, obviously I know... I know there will be some black and white fire starter giveaway. There will be uh, a knife giveaway. There will be a few other things. So you don't want to miss it. Make sure you're like, you're liking every video. You're commenting that I'm watching every video. And you're subscribed. And you're sharing the videos out. That's it. Plain and simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. And uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Well, here's my good morning for the last day. Day 7 is finally here. It is pack up and uh, get everything cleaned up and, and head out day. I got my one last fire and I'll show you guys. I don't think I've really showed you guys how I've gotten a fire in here before. So I'm just using two pots. And uh, that's my fire system. So good morning, day seven. Time to pack up and, and head home. I'm so nice and warm in, in my uh, sleeping bag here that I don't want to get out, but got to get up, got to get the day going, right? So I'll catch you guys later. You know, I never look forward to going to work until after these seven days of being out here in the cold and that being a controlled environment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't get everything done on the shelter I wanted to get done. But the structure's there, the bones are there, I think, for whoever comes out next. Yeah. They definitely want to get a 10 by 12 tarp. Redo that. I don't think that's going to last for it. Does this thing percolate in there? Oh, yeah. You got gloves on? I'll do a little test. See how dark it is. It's drinkable, but it's still pretty clear. I can see I can see the bottom of my cup through the. Well, the good news is, is out of these seven days, everybody made it. Yeah. No one died. Well, that fourth guy that was with us, I mean. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's four shelters. There's only three of us sitting around the fire. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't too. That's 
not even hardly coffee. Oh. It'll wet my whistle though. Oh, Parker. Parker. Forever free. We are finally leaving camp and uh, oh Is that a sled I see? Is that a sled going right downhill? All right, you guys you know what to do hundred likes and I'll ride that sled all the way home Back to Iowa. Can we get a hundred likes on this? What do you think mark? Kind of funny kind of funny Justin. Yeah All right, here it is day with the family and all that good stuff I can't wait my daughter watches Sesame Street every night and uh, I, I, I as much as I hate it watching that thing every single day I'm actually looking forward to it you guys can see that stream down there that nice river flowing absolutely beautiful we are on our way to the vehicles, go well, down there. Let me zoom in for you guys. Absolutely beautiful all the way around here. Walk and trek up through the roaring river. No, I'm just kidding. It's so beautiful out here. Seven days. Seven days gone from the family. Seven days away from cell phone service, all notifications. All that crazy stuff. And uh, let me just take you guys down here for a second. Let me show you the, the beauty. Oh wow. Woo! Wow. Look at this. We found gold. This is nice.
All right, you guys, we found our, we found the gold mine. We've been searching for the gold. Here it is. Don't tell anyone about it. And uh, I'll show you guys what this is all worth when it's all said and done. I got a camera, sh camera show down here. Yeah. <laughs> nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. <laughs> there we go. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna remember this place for for a very long time. Um, uh oh, looks like Mark's stuck now. This is also sponsored by Dodge. There he goes. That thing got to hit me. Got to hit me in a big one. <laughs> you want to lead us in prayer? Mm -hmm. Lord, thank you for getting us home safe and bless this food so it nourishes our body. And take, thank you for being so patient and, and kind with us and being the Lord and Savior that you are. Thank you for dying for us on the cross and forgiveness of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah. All Get right. Begin. Did you guys check that footage out? This is just absolutely crazy. Remember that time? <laughs> yep, that's back when I couldn't feel my toes. Justin's moving slow motion there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have my uh, my poles up for my cabin or anything. I love the the fact that we all kind of stand back away from our shelter and kind of absorb the situation. <laughs> Kind of it's map a, it out in her head. Yeah, it's like uh, you don't have architectural plans or anything, so you're just kind of like <laughs> going with the flow. Mm -hmm. Cold. It was brutal. <clears throat> I will definitely do it again, just not anytime soon. <laughs> I'm thinking next time somewhere nice and warm. Extreme winter challenge, nice and warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got a was, uh, I think it hit, the, they said it was 31 below, 25 or 31 below. Yeah, yep. That's what I shoot for. I shoot for a lot of those little filler shots. You see all this same footage that we're looking at right now. Go check on Waypoint Outdoors and Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. Justin and Tyler with Hollywood Bushcraft. And don't forget, Mark, with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles. I know you just heard that, but Justin Van Ferrari with Out or Waypoint. Check out Justin with Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. And uh, this is an awesome series, guys. If you want to see what we're looking at, you got to make sure you check out the seven day winter challenge, extreme winter challenge. If you want to see what we're looking at, you got to make sure to check out the uh, seven day extreme winter challenge in northern Wisconsin. We're in Mark with Rolling Homestead in his home territory, and we're out of his bushcraft camp. We did some pretty epic stuff. I wish there was a pizza tree you could just harvest. What did you think of this? How deep the snow is out there? Mm. <laughs> I just know what's funny about this is when me and Justin were down in the swamp. Yeah. We found the wolf tracks. I mean, right where, right where, I mean, in the direction you said you heard them. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, you want to talk about your nerves just being on, on edge. Especially in the dark, you're out there all alone, like yeah, we're, we're on the other spot. You guys are on the other side of huh? the woods there. road I might release a full project build where uh, where you know it's just strictly that one project you can see it from start to finish um, and me and Tyler were thinking about doing some kind of the silent ones where you know yep. 
and you know doing that kind of thing and just out there and just hearing the you know some of the crackling from the branches and you know that's when you know it's, it's cold is when you snap a branch and that thing echoes all the way across the whole woods yeah or you just hear the trees popping yeah you know i mean they're just frozen literally frozen well, I'm not 100% convinced it was just trees popping at the middle of night. It sounded more like a knock. <laughs> yeah. So there was a couple times you wondered. Yeah. Because it just it wasn't just one knock. It was a knock and then another somewhere else, another knock. Yep. And it happened pretty pretty close together. So. Hey, Jess. Good to see you, Jesse Cox. Hey, good guys. <laughs> You'd watch all three hours. Well, maybe I'll do it just for you. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's going to watch three hours? Yeah, it, happy little. There is going to be so awesome. much. There's so much awesome footage. So much. Uh, the one thing that I really wish I could have captured on on film that I didn't is uh, I think it was day four. It was like when I started feeling really good about everything that I had going on. There was a massive bald eagle that just came flying right over top of me. And it was the one time I went down to the swamp area to, to harvest a tree. I already had enough filming of, uh, of cutting, using my saw, using my axe. I didn't want to take all my camera gear down there because it's such a, a, a trike through the snow to get down there. And carrying a, my big old camera and a tree on my shoulder, I just didn't want to do that. So I left all my camera gear there because, I, like I said, I had enough of that recording done. You guys don't want to see, you know, all seven videos two hours of just cutting down trees so I left my camera back at camp and this massive bald eagle comes flying over my head right up above right kind of right by our camp but just off to the distance a little bit and uh, it was in perfect shot of being able to get a nice good video of it but I didn't have my camera so that was one thing I regret not recording. Homestead Remembrance we are up north so we are far north. <laughs> And some of the things, you know, like the, the stories you're going to hear of the, like Justin said that he taped his, his way up here. And I uh, like.